Hi, I am Nidhi and in this video, let me teach you how you can draft an inquiry report for a disciplinary proceeding using none other than our favorite AI friend, ChatGPT. Well, you all know that disciplinary proceedings entail numerous steps. These, of course, require documentation at every stage as well. It may simply start with a warning letter or a show cause notice. I have discussed how you can draft that in another video of mine by using ChatGPT. We do start off with a warning letter or a show cause notice. The reply to the show cause notice is given by the respondent. A chart sheet is issued. Then hearings take place, which involve a recording of what has happened in a daily order sheet. Witness statements are recorded. And finally, an inquiry report has to be drafted at the conclusion of the proceeding. Now, for all these documentations, you can use AI and draft them. In this video, I will teach you how you can draft an inquiry report using AI. So let's jump into it and let me take you through the fact scenario. I'm going to work on a simple fact scenario, which I have noted here below. I have given a hypothetical situation of an employee named Dinesh Sharma who joined the organization on 5th of June 2023 in the capacity of an HR manager and he was earning rupees 65,000 per month. Now, I have laid down the fact situation so as to put this as it is in chat GPT. I will show you further how we use it. I have said that the person is found guilty to be claiming unauthorized reimbursements for the past five months. Now, how did we notice this? It came to notice when a colleague, namely Mr. Ashok Ranjan from the customer support department reported this to the HR via a letter dated 25th of December, 2023. Now, this of course got checked with accounts and it was found out that yes, Mr. Dinesh Sharma had submitted five reimbursements which were not authorized and they were claimed amounting to rupees 1 lakh. So he claimed five reimbursements, 20,000 rupees each and a total amount of 1 lakh was dispersed to him which was unauthorized. Following this, a preliminary investigation followed with the finance and uh, the HR. Following this, a show cause notice dated 4th of January 2024 was issued to Mr. Dinesh Sharma seeking an explanation within a period of three days. Mr. Dinesh Sharma filed his reply stating that he was not aware of the travel and expense policy of the company. That's his defense. Then statements of finance officer showcase that payments were duly dispersed along with Mr. Sharma's salary for that month. There is a statement of the HR manager also, which showcases that Mr. Sharma was duly oriented at the time of his joining and all the company's policies were also shared with him. His employment agreement also says that he shall be subject to company policies that may be updated from time to time. So he is subject to the travel and expense policy also, which he should have followed. We have the evidence of all bank receipts from August to December, which is the five months that he claimed reimbursements for. Now, his defense is that... He submitted his first reimbursement in the month of July 2023 for a travel that was for rupees 5000 and he assumed that all his future reimbursements will also be authorized and therefore he made those. Corresponding to the date the amount has been given and given down the list of reimbursements that he has claimed. I have also noted down a clause of the travel and expense policy. If you see the clause, it says that each expense that is reported, it must be approved by the reporting manager and the finance team. So there is no approval that is happening here. He is just going and making those claims. And what is the final conclusion that we want in the inquiry report? That currently there is no dispute in relation to the fact that there was a claim and disbursements have happened. Banks' statements also support this and the assumption of the employee is not valid that all my future reimbursements will also be authorized. Therefore, it does amount to misconduct and as punishment, we want GPT to award a final punishment by withholding Mr. Sharma's pay for a period of one month, that is February 2024. Now, I'm going to work on this fact scenario and tell Chad GPT the same fact scenario, basis which I'm going to ask it to prepare an inquiry report for me. Let's see how that works. So you see, I have taken the exact same factual scenario and 
given my first prompt to chat GPT. I need you to act as an HR manager who conducted disciplinary proceedings. The fact scenario is as under. So I have exactly copy pasted what I just showed to you in the Word document. The name of the employee, what are the facts, what are the evidences that we have, and the amount of disbursement, a reference to the policy, the relevant dates, everything is as it is put here. However, once I have done that, at the conclusion, I write that based on that, I need you to draft an inquiry report because that's what I want. That's the aim here. So I've written, based on that, I need you to draft an inquiry report. And like I always do, I have asked GPT to please ask me five relevant questions that will help you in drafting this. So there may sometimes happen that we are missing out on information to give to chat GPT. It's always better that you ask AI to ask you questions and it can incorporate all those additional details in the document that it is drafting. With that, GPT says, in order to draft the inquiry report, I would need to gather some additional information. Fair enough. Let's see what the questions are. It says, can you provide me more details about the orientation process? So it's trying to understand whether he is well aware about the travel and expense policy or not. Is there any documented acknowledgement from Mr. Sharma indicating that he received and understood the policies? Can you elaborate on the process for approving reimbursements within the company? Are there any provisions within the travel and expense policy or other documents that outline the consequences for violating the reimbursement procedures? And can you confirm whether there were any prior instances or similar misconduct? So fair enough questions, all of these should be incorporated. I have jotted down the answers to all of these. So about the details in the orientation process, I have said that Mr. Dinesh Sharma had signed the employment agreement, which mentions that employees should be subject to all company policies. All the policies, even the travel and expense policy were emailed to him. Apart from that, the HR also conducted an onboarding session for the new joiners and introduced them to the company policies during that session. So yes, he is aware about the policies. In the second question, I answer that yes, Mr. Dinesh Sharma had responded to the email saying that he has read and understood the policies. So he knows about the policies. However, now he's denying. So this is an important point. To the next question, I say, the reporting manager shall approve the expense and forward it to finance. This approval from reporting manager was not taken by Dinesh Sharma. So about the process for approval of reimbursements, I have given out this answer. Are there any provisions for travel and expense policy? I say that the policy clearly enunciates that if you don't observe this, it can be treated as misconduct and it can warrant disciplinary action. That is what happens usually, right? That is exactly what the policy of this company is also saying. It further says that, can you confirm whether there have been any prior instances? So we say that no, this is the first time such a violation has come to light. It is for a period of five months from August to December, and we are acting upon it right now. I've also written that please make a comprehensive inquiry report, including all information in five to six pages. I will press continue if required. Now, whenever AI is drafting a very lengthy document, this is a good prompt to give because sometimes it just assumes and will create a shorter document. So if you say that I will press continue, if it has to make a really long document, you can just simply type continue and it will continue from that stage. In the initial prompt, I mentioned the fact situation. In the second prompt, I have given answers to the questions that GPD has asked me. Based on this, I have an inquiry report. You see how easy my job is becoming? Let's see how it looks like. So it says it's an inquiry report. It is given the subject, the date, introduction, background to what has happened. So in the background, you can see that he joined the company on 5th June. His salary has been mentioned. The amount of reimbursements claimed has also mentioned. Then the time period is mentioned. Preliminary investigation was carried out with finance and the HR that is mentioned here. And findings have been given with conclusion and recommendations. I do like this, but I feel that the statements are missing here. It just talks about findings and conclusion. Rather, they should be included as facts. So I've given it another prompt saying that you do retain this draft, however, add statements of the finance officer and HR manager as well. So it keeps the draft as it is. And after the findings, it is including the statements because an inquiry report would always incorporate the witness statements from both ends. So it retains and then it adds the statements. But post that, I still feel that it should be done on the letterhead of the company 
who the committee members are, who the presenting officer is, then I think the statement of Dinesh Sharma has also been missed out. So I asked GPT to incorporate those things as well. You need to give an instruction to retain the draft. I have done that. However, at the starting, make it on the letterhead. I've given the company name Social Fuse Private Limited. I said, introduce the committee members, Mr. Arora, who is the chairperson, Shruti Sinha, Ritu Kumar as members, Rahul Pajaj as presenting officer, and the accused and what is the charge. And I have also said that please include Dinesh Sharma's statement as well because we would need that. There we have it. GPT has included the letterhead. The heading of an inquiry report is given. The subject is mentioned. The date is mentioned. The committee members, the presenting officer, accused, charge. And then it goes on with introduction, background and findings. So this is a very well drafted inquiry report. And it is finally prepared by the HR manager with conclusions. Now, what I have done is I have taken the draft as it is and I have copy pasted the same into a Word document because I still feel that there are need for some changes. I have taken it on the letterhead of Social Fuse Private Limited. The heading of inquiry report, etc. remains same. However, I'm not giving it the heading of an introduction because that's not necessary. So I just removed that. And then instead of background, I've just added the words, here is a brief factual background. Now, I do understand that the part where he was oriented about the policy, the approval had to be taken, consequences are not findings of the committee. So I just removed the headings and let it continue with the background because that is what has exactly happened. So we're working on the facts right now. Instead of statements, I've just made a change and I've written statements of witnesses. Following this, a recommendation did not find place here. So I've deleted this completely. And instead of conclusion, I have given the word findings and added a few lines. In light of the findings, it is recommended that appropriate disciplinary action can be taken against Mr. Dinesh Sharma. Considering the seriousness of the offense and the company's policy regarding such violations, withholding Mr. Sharma's pay for one month, that is February 2024, is deemed appropriate. And the disciplinary action is again recommended here and it is prepared by the HR manager or other designation. So I have mentioned a footnote here that whichever authority has power to hire should ideally be the disciplinary authority. And ordinarily, the function of the disciplinary authority and the inquiry officer can be combined in private sector. Whoever is the relevant authority in your organization, you can make them the signing authority here. That's how the draft looks. It is well drafted. You just need to make a few changes and it makes your job so easy. This is how you can go ahead, use AI and draft all such steps in a disciplinary proceeding by using ChatGPT. It makes your job very easy. It is very convenient. With the correct set of prompts, you don't need more than 10 minutes to get the document ready. But sometimes you need to read through it and incorporate changes wherever you feel necessary. I hope you like this video. And if you want more such videos, please leave down in comments as to what topics you want me to make them on. And I would be happy to make them for you. See you in the next video. Bye.